Hey there, me again. Uh, I've got a question here from Jody Field. Uh, can I get some advice on best voice messages, uh, voice messaging options in Google Classroom? Would you recommend anything other than Moat? Is this free for all staff? I have some staff saying they are being asked to pay. Uh, yes, Moat actually does cost money and uh, it's probably not good unless uh, the department goes and signs up for something like that. But there are free solutions that are available to you. Uh, and actually Jody has come in and said, well, what about adding voice to Google Forms uh, or other things as well? So uh, there are a few different options, but here's one that I really like that is definitely worth looking at. Uh, it's a Chrome extension, and uh, I'll just jump across to Chrome. And it's called Talk and Comment Voice Notes Anywhere. Now it's a free product. Uh, you add it to, so you go to your extensions, Chrome extension store, you add it to your Chrome, um, and there's an option to remove from Chrome. If you're using uh, the Edge browser, the Microsoft Edge browser for Chromium, you can go to the Chrome store as well and get it for that. But um, it does some cool stuff. And what it does when you add it is it sticks this little icon up the top here, which allows you to um, record a message at any point in time and then paste that message into whatever you want to paste it into. It could be Facebook, it could be um, Google Classroom, it could be just about anything that you use, Yammer and so on. Uh, how does it work in Google Classroom? Well, let's uh, let's take a look at that. Actually, I will show you one thing beforehand. Really, I really do recommend this setting. If you go into More Tools and go into Extensions, you'll see all the extensions you've got. But um, one of them in here is Talk and Comment. And if you go into the details of that, I strongly recommend. I'll just zoom this up so you can see it a bit easier. I strongly recommend that you come in here, allow this extension to read and change all your data on websites you visit. I recommend that you only select that on click and not on all sites because the extension can uh, take up extra memory on your Chrome browser and can slow things down. So only use it when you need it by choosing the on click option, which means I'm going to click this extension up here and then I'll have access to a microphone. Okay, let's jump into uh, our Google Classroom. Uh, and what we'll do is say, okay, I want to announce something to the class or I want to reply to a particular student or something like that. So let's say I want to announce something to the class. I can say, uh, please listen to this. And what I'll do is come over here and here is my uh, microphone. So I've clicked on there, here is my microphone. And it appears like this, and it's actually recording as we go right now. And I can talk for a while. I'm not sure what the limitation is, but I do believe it's a minimum of four seconds. So I'll save that. And what it does is it gives me a URL. And I can click that URL and copy it and say OK. And then I can paste it in here. And see that bit that says voice note at the end? I can get rid of that, just backspace all the way to the beginning of that. And then uh, I can click post. Now what it will appear like initially is this, where uh, there's a link there. And if I click on it, it will take me to this talk and comment website. And that's a site that's open to students and staff. So there's no issue about the filter. And it appears like this, and it's actually recording as we go right now. And I can talk for a while. I'm not sure what the limitation is, but I do believe it's a minimum of four seconds. So I'll save that. Okay, so that's what it uh, comes back and plays as. But you don't really want it to be that a kid has to click that and go to this web page. So what you'll find after you've played it and it worked, it will show up like this inside Google Classroom and the same in other things that you post into. And I can just, as a student, click here and it appears like this and it's actually recorded and you get the idea. So that is um, that is the extension that's called Talk and Comment. It saves that voice for 90 days. So that is something that you need to be aware of. It's not going to be a permanent thing. Uh, so it's, it's only a comment that gets attached for a period of time. So does that answer or does that solve your particular question? Um, probably does in a lot of cases. How many people are going to want to go back to something 90 days later? Uh, you've added your comment in and it stayed there for that purpose of uh, giving the feedback to the student 
and off you go hope that uh, was of use and I'll see you in the next video